Shahrukh Salman and Amir I don't think those three can speak that the kind of historicals that are coming out of Bollywood in the last few years they are totally playing into the hindutva writing and rewriting of history going into the library and then shooting and that was i think the yeah. tipping point for many people Absolutely. to say that okay enough is enough enough is enough agar humko paisa chahiye hota to hum us party ke paas nahi jate jiske paas bahut sara paisa hai jiski sarkar hai jiski police hai Hello and welcome. Uh, you're joining us on the Queen's Films in Politics Roundtable. We have with us five people who need no introduction. What we're discussing here today is, in our contemporary political environment, extremely important: the role of films and popular culture in understanding what is going on around us. Uh, as we all know, there are massive protests across the country uh, about the Citizenship Amendment Act, the NRC, the NPR now, and there are. questions that are being raised about the film industry's role in this entire scheme of things there's been a lot of talk about celebrities from bollywood don't speak enough there's huge backlash when they do look at amir khan losing a snap deal contract for example do you feel that there's often too much pressure on bollywood to speak up because we don't apply that same yardstick for say entrepreneurs industrialists businessmen etc so that's a professional as well yes the industry is not speaking up a lot of them and you know we have seen some sanitized streets which were like ye dil diwana hai diwana dil hai dil to diwana hai dil diwana acha but uh, having said that things that i have been writing about this subject on twitter and facebook and you've been very angry on twitter yeah but my anger wasn't directed towards shahrukh salman and amir at all i don't think those three can speak why so and, uh, i don't know if i should say it uh, in in a democratic country that we live in supposedly i should not be uh, discriminating uh, based on religion but uh, let let that remain suggestive right. but but you've seen what happened to sharukh when he used a, a word like intolerant yeah or what happened to amir when he was telling a benign story yeah. about his wife and you know people selectively picked up on half of the statement so i'm not even talking about them losing contracts Hmm. which is fine they can afford to lose all their all those contracts which is fine only people who get trolled that viciously will know what it means so then suddenly you are identified with your religion your belief so i'm not saying it is impossible to still speak up but i fully understand why they can't or maybe they shouldn't but the rest of the industry has been they have not been subscribing to newspapers they have not been watching the tv shows and news and they have, and i don't know what's going on so yeah i'm angry about it and there should be more uh, people talking besides swara <laughs> and richa and the usual suspects since you spoke about being viciously trolled and we have swara <laughs> ma'am here with us patron goddess the manifestation <laughs> of being viciously trolled on twitter you and if i may say so zishan also has, Um, among several people who've spoken up very vociferously your insta stories every day there are some 20 30 stories that you're posting on this yeah. I'm, how I'm much going a little crazy <laughs> how much has the backlash been over the last fortnight and how much do you expect it to be over the coming weeks and possibly months actually i have to say that this is a rare moment for me this time there is a lot of more solidarity than there is trolling actually and i think that that's the most hopeful thing about this moment forget bollywood for a moment this is a rare thing for us generally to to see that there are there are so many people out in the streets so regularly people are making the time they're getting out and it's not just people from one identifiable community it's people across communities it's students it's young people professionals like, yeah also. professionals they're finishing their work they're making yeah. that time to go to a protest i mean they, they you know they so i think that that is amazing so i actually think that there has been more solidarity even for me and i'm not used to it at all because main gali khane ki aadi hu so mujhe aise solidarity ke sath kaise deal karna hai nahi pata but this is a rare this actually is rare for me in the past when i've been trolled for like the kathua placard campaign and those have been very lonely experiences hmm. or the open letter yeah. or other things that i do i mean i feel that you have to live by your choices and then hmm. you you speaking out is a choice you make and mm. you live with the consequences of that not speaking out is also a choice you make i i think we assume that the people who don't speak out are easy with themselves maybe they're yeah. not 
maybe maybe they are bothered by their own silence how do we know we don't know that and that's an interesting question and which i want to actually touch upon because for example one person from the industry who's entire behavior through this process i found very interesting is alia bhat uh in an earlier interview with film companion uh, during the release of gully boy she had stayed very clearly away almost hands off approach to i don't want to discuss politics but you look at someone like alia in the first few days after the violence at jamia possibly when it reached a tipping point for her she puts out an insta story which is the preamble of our constitution and the next insta story says learn from the students do you feel that we've come to the stage where this is no longer the time for silence that uh, i think the response of the people says it all actually it's not about us i think all of us have spoken <coughs> up on various times at various <coughs> points when we have felt very strongly about certain <coughs> things we can't feel strongly about each and every time it happens or you know which is what is expected but that does not mean that your heart is not in the right place but here the the protests <coughs> were not started by us the protests were started by students and uh, very rightfully for the kind of wrong action that was uh, you know taken by uh, the police at the instructions of their big bo bosses so um, i feel that you know this whole insistence of people that you must speak up you must speak up you must speak up not everybody is <laughs> swara not everybody can slay trolls ye hai ki sabko हक होना चाहिए अपनी बात कहने का और अपनी बात ना कहने का वी कांट फोर्स वी शुड नॉट फोर्स एनी बडी टू स्पीक एन ओपिनियन ओके हर एक इंसान ओपिनियन बना ही रहा होगा वन hmm. जब आप मीडिया uh, में आप न्यूज देख रहे हैं हर तरफ वो न्यूज है सो so, कोई ना कोई ओपिनियन आपने बना लिया होगा उसके बाद जो बोल रहे हैं वो इसलिए बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि वो बोले बिना नहीं रह सकते हैं जो नहीं बोल रहे हैं वो इसलिए नहीं बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि अभी नहीं जरूरत है उनको दैट्स ओके आई थिंक दैट्स कंप्लीटली एब्सोल्युटली फाइन आई सॉर्ट ऑफ आई एम डिवाइडेड ऑन दिस वुड यू एक्चुअली गो एंड आस्क आई मीन डू पीपल डू ट्रोल्स एक्चुअली आस्क आनंद महिंद्रा और से एनी ऑफ द डॉट कॉम बिगीज और एनी ऑफ द आईटी बिगीज डू वी आस्क देम दैट व्हाई डोंट यू ट्वीट बिकॉज़ यू हैव सो मेनी फॉलोअर्स यू हैव लाइक मिलियन फॉलोअर्स व्हाई इज द ऑनेस्ट ओनली ऑन बॉलीवुड एंड आई फील बॉलीवुड अलोन आई फील व्हाट हैपेंस इज वी आर नॉट इंडिविजुअल okay when we tweet when we put out an opinion it is automatically uh, you are taking in the 400 people associated with a single film so <laughs> the wins or most likely the losses are distributed among those people as well i mean the examples are replete with let's say what happened to sharuk mm. or say karan johar or amir to or all of them by karan johar even, even padmavat and the so, yeah, apology yeah. they had to put they out they were all alone na for <coughs> they had to fight their own battle padmavat yeah. Padmavad. Padmavad. yeah i mean it was And it was because it was not even that anybody had spoken. Yeah. Padmavat, two things. One is that there was a threat ki yeah. Deepika's nose should be cut off. Yeah. No, no. Gardan. 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 Nose se shuru hui thi baat ki unko laga nose to bhai bahut aasan hai. Five crore ka tha. Handsome. Oh my god. Gardan pe chale gaye unko laga. I actually allowed to float around. One press con for the short film that I was doing, and I said something about, you know, I feel rather ashamed that you know in this country where Deepika Padukone, I mean, one of the most successful stars. उसके ऊपर रैंसम हो रहा है ऑन नेशनल टेलीविजन दिस इज हाउ इज इट इवन अलाउड इट बिकेम दैट आई एम अगेंस्ट इंडिया वट एवर एंड दैट वीट आई इट बिकेम लाइक ह्यूज एंड वरुण टोल मी दैट यू नो डोंट टेक इट टू हार्ड बिकॉज इट इट गेट्स रियली वाइड सो आई एम फंडामेंटली सेंग दिस थिंग दैट यू नो आई डोंट थिंक द प्रेशर शुड बी सो मच दैट ऑफकोर्स या योर साइलेंस इज योर्स आई थिंक इट शुड बी एंड बिकॉज योर आंसरेबल टू लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड विच इज वॉट Bollywood goes through, and I don't feel that pressure should be a uh, stipulation that why don't you speak up? Because then yeah. you'll be asked to speak speak up at every point. Every Correct. point, yeah. Why should you? It is a my prerogative to actually speak or not. But also the flip side is, say for example, if tomorrow you get an invite from Seven Race Course Road from the Prime Minister's residence, that we are going to launch a film on Gandhi Ji, it is a topic that you would believe in. But the event. is one which is going to be attended by the prime minister himself and if the prime minister's team then asks you to post a selfie with him right at which point would you say no or would you say yes to all three can i ask you a counter question <laughs> sure what if they did a film on nathuram godse and invited the same people how many people would say no you're saying they wouldn't say no i'm asking if i can probe you on that you're saying very personal choices uh <clears throat> 
So thankfully, you're not asking me what will I do. I'm asking you what you will do. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll probably not go, and that's why I'm not. So invited. you'll say no, right? Even if the if it's something like uh-huh. a Gandhi ji film, right? Short film by Raju Hirani on Mahatma Gandhi. I love Raju, <laughs> but you won't go if it's the. I love Gandhi ji, but you don't love Modi ji. No, I don't. So you won't go there. No. Oh, I think we should make a distinction. I must say. It's not um, about loving Modi ji. I'm yeah. so sorry. Mm-hmm. It's not. I I have never met him, but I am against certain policies implemented by the government. So I disagree with the government. And then I also disagree with Neeraj and even mm-hmm. Varun. I I sort of agree that you know people should have a, mm-hmm. a right to their silence. Mm-hmm. But those are under ordinary circumstances. But mm-hmm. these are no ordinary circumstances. We, we have the people that we are talking about here have. have spoken about the earthquake in chile and uh, uh, some massacre in nigeria so people have been affected by the earthquake in chile or hawaii so then i would expect them to be affected by this earthquake too bollywood is part of a larger society the fact is that india in general has seen a last 5 years where there has been a palpable fear even amongst non bollywood people about saying things hmm. I mean, there is a general like, "Arey arey, simat bolo." You know this, and it's as I, I keep, I'm sorry, I keep coming back to this because I think that the greatest thing that these protests have done, and the students, as you said, who who began it, and the other people who participated and led it, uh, uh, so on, is that suddenly everyone's feeling that we can actually critique the government. We see that in the posters that people are holding yeah. up. It's not like terrible things didn't happen. Yeah. We've seen five years yeah. of most gruesome kind of yeah. lynchings. Mm. But we didn't yeah. see this kind of thing, right? Look at the kids in Delhi. Yeah. I mean, look at the yeah. students. I can't. I'm like, I feel so <laughs> grateful for them. There's this friend of mine who called, messaged me, a student. So he said, "Sir, please call me." So I called him. So he's talking to me. So There's massive noise. So I thought he's <laughs> at a protest or something. So I said, "I can barely hear you." And can you please call me when you get out? So he says, "Sir, I'm he's a South Indian guy." So he says, Sir, I'm arrested, sir. <laughs> so I say, hello. Like detained. So he said, no, sir, I, they've arrested me. So I said, you still have your phone? Yeah, yeah. They were taking me to the police station. So it has become that normal. Yeah. That the guy has been arrested and he's talking. He just answered my phone. But it's great. They're <laughs> just not getting scared. Like people are getting detained. They're going and getting detained. They'll get then finish. Then they're like, okay, now we've left. That whole atmosphere of silence and fear. It's not just Bollywood. Mm. If it's happening in Bollywood, it's a sign that it's outside as well. Mm. I mean. They're sitting on more than three hundred seats. Who? Why are we acting like the government is some oh other government? We voted for them. No, you didn't. We, oh, I mean, okay, I didn't. <laughs> okay, no shit. No, so you're gonna give me so much trouble. Anyway, headline: Swara Bhaskar voted for BJP in 2019. <laughs> no, I'm saying that we as a people have not been bothered by all of that. We as a people have been taken in by whatever dreams that they were offering us, whatever the hell that was. We as a people cheered when a man was tied to a jeep. in kashmir yeah. and we saw that as some great amazing self defense action i don't know what which is also parodied found, in a film as that's well that's how it found Short its way in a film, film. yeah in a but what, because film. it was cheered outside swara knows how many uh, gigs she's lost because of being vociferous i'm just saying ki i because you have that courage and i really really respect you for that courage but i'm just saying ki it's unfair for everyone else to be hold, held to that pedestal saying that You also have that courage, and you also speak out in the same manner that she does. It's not easy for, let's mm. say, all three of you. If you say it with such a plum, maybe because of my background, yeah. I'll have that persecution complex to not be able to speak so loudly. You know, although I feel miserable about it. But you can't be indifferent, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So some people speak less, which is yeah. fine. But you can't give me an impression that. Yeah, sorry, what happened? Mm. But some pure deity is different. You can't give me that. No. And also, when mm. I say there's no right to silence, imagine mm. it was only <coughs> Jamia fighting. Mm. Imagine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It became big. It yeah. became important because a hundred universities joined it. Right. In 2016, it was only JNU fighting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 There was a yeah. time when it was yeah. Yeah. only JNU fighting, and it yeah. died. That's very yeah. true. So no, it was actually when, the first. Sorry to interrupt, but no. JNU. What happened with JNU at that time was. Shocking because something like this had never happened no, we before. We didn't expect it. You know, yeah. every time something new comes up, it takes time for us to also get acclimatized to something which is so wrong. You know, it takes time. Your brain doesn't. I'm actually crossing the barrier of going into the library and then shooting. I mean, that was, I think, the yeah. tipping point for 
many people Absolutely. to say that okay enough is enough enough is enough that's true and people being amputated because of injuries in amu i mean it's yeah. just unbelievable no, a- before moving on if i could just one very interesting point that you spoke about you spoke about your background right and you spoke about how that makes it slightly more difficult for yeah. you uh, to speak up with the same <coughs> vociferousness that others do and a while earlier you spoke about the same thing for muslims and muslim celebrities as well that they'll get typecast oh musliman hai isliye bol rahe do you feel that that holds if i can be direct that that holds for three of the biggest stars in bollywood of course it does do you think that that reduces then then we should also not have that much of an onus on them i don't uh, personally speaking one of them i know personally uh, so i have a little bit of an insight on that uh, no it's if if i was sharukh khan i wouldn't get into it because my whole being will be demolished my because i come from and honestly speaking none of these three are very staunch muslims so most of them have some hindu connection one has a hindu wife and things like those but sabke ghar mein pooja bhi hoti hai but wo jis din aisa hota hai i can't forget that amir incident i remember us bechare ka pura sentence hi use nahi kiya gaya that if the line is that we are becoming increasingly intolerant and you can whip up a troll army against that then the problem is the troll army not the comment they are in a very very difficult position because hmm. uh, Uh, I always damned say that. Damn if you that, speak, damned if you don't. Yeah, when people ask me how can you speak out, I say hmm. that's because I'm not an A-lister, and that is the bottom line. That I can be brave, I can be courageous <coughs> because I don't have a 400 uh, people unit. You know why do we need causes to be legitimized by celebrities in any way? What is this culture where a cause will only come? to light and be discussed if a celebrity lends a name to it it and it happens everywhere in the world you know like suddenly the tibetan issue is like thing because richard gear was mm. tweeted about or Reha- palestine is palestine also, becomes okay. something because rihana said it or the armenian genocide because kim kardashian's but this is that's problematic right i mean i would actually go to the extent saying don't depend on us i mean these guys at least like you know creative people and all don't ever depend on actors main to bhag jaungi jis din mera film ka release hoga मैं तो वेट कर रही हूँ आई डोंट हैव रिलीज फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथ्स बट या आई स्वेर गॉड लाइक वेन आई हैव रिलीज कमिंग आउट आई स्टार्ट पोस्टिंग लाइक पप्पी किटन फूल गुड मॉर्निंग दोज मैसेजेस आई एम लाइक लेट मी फिल्म माई ट्विटर लाइक हाइड वॉट इज ऑन माई ट्विटर वे आर ऑल वनरेबल वे आर ऑल कॉम्प्रोमाइज इन कम्प्लेस इन डिफरेंट वेज सो आई एक्चुअली थिंक दैट लाइक आई थिंक दैट वी शुड थिंक अबाउट कॉजेज for their own merit yeah. and keep this and विच इज वाई इट्स सो इम्पॉर्टेंट एज यू सेड टू कीप सिंग दैट दिस होल थिंग is a student led thing it's organic yeah. it doesn't have those typical star yeah. leaders yeah. the celebrities That's, are amplifiers yeah hum aa gaye kyunki hum main main bombay mein hu mere mere ko ek off day mil gaya main chali gayi protest mein it doesn't have a political agenda also there is no you know it was not started by any political like party like a political party yeah. agenda yeah, yeah. so let's yeah. let's let's appreciate that nature of it and let's keep it to that like don't and don't trust celebrities and don't trust what we say hmm. so do you know right wing twitter इस पूरे सेशन में से कौन सी लाइन उठा के चलाने वाला है मैं तो भाग जाऊंगी दैट इज गोइंग टू ऑन द डे ऑफ माय फिल्म फर्स्ट इज बीजेपी आई वोटेड फॉर बीजेपी 2019 एंड सेकंड इज मेरा फिल्म के दिन मैं तो भाग जाऊंगा बट वरुण मूविंग ऑन इन द डिस्कशन इफ आई कैन से सो ब्लंटली देयर आर सेवरल मूवीज इन द पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स व्हिच हैव ओवरट एंड सटल इस्लामोफोबिया इन देम वी सी पीरियड फिल्म्स दैट आर ऑलमोस्ट written in a way to make it into a hindu muslim narrative but varun my question to you is this do you think that f- we overstate the impact that films can have on our minds or do you think that say for example when an when a mulk or an article 15 comes out that there is significant impact it can have in terms of changing mindsets which is what i'm guessing all of you are trying to do through your activism as well film ke do kaam hote hain एक काम तो होता है कहानी कहना और कहानियों से ही हम चीज़ें याद रखते हैं ये सच है आज आप होलोकॉस्ट की बात करें तो आप ठीक है नंबर्स सब जानते हैं या सब नहीं भी जानते हैं अभी पूछेंगे कि कितने मिलियन एक्सटर्मिनेट हुए थे सबको नहीं ऐसे मालूम होगा और आप बोलेंगे तो भी वो नंबर ऐसे नहीं याद आएगा बट आप फिल्म की बात करेंगे आप पूछेंगे अगर आपने शिडलर्स लिस्ट देखी है क्या immediately you get the emotion of a tragedy of a genocide to film ka ek kaam to wo hai 
कहानियाँ कहना और कहानियों में इमोशन को जिंदा रखना वो कोई भी फिल्म हो आ, वो जैसा आप कह रहे हैं कि कुछ फिल्में जो इस्लामोफोबिक हों या वो फिल्में लिबरल आप कह लें उनको आ, या अब मैं ज़्यादा मैं जो शब्द इस्तेमाल करना चाहता हूँ वो है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लविंग जो हिंदुस्तान की जो स्पिरिट है उसको जिंदा रखती हुई फिल्में दोनों में ही एक चीज़ तो है उस इंसान का जिसने वो फिल्म बनाई है उसका इमोशन है अब वो इमोशन सच अगर जिंदा रहता है हमारी एक हमारी खुद को समझाई हुई एक फैंटेसी है कि सच जिंदा रहता है पता नहीं रहता है कि नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता मतलब मैं भी नहीं जानता हूँ एक्चुअली लेकिन अगर सच जिंदा रहता है तो वो फिल्में जिनमें सच है जिनमें हमारे इंसान होने का सच है वो रह जाएंगी वो बीस साल तीस साल लगेंगे उसको पहचानने में कि अच्छा ठीक है ये फिल्में थी जो प्रोपेगेंडा फिल्में थी और ये फिल्में थी जो कोशिश कर रही थी कि वो हिंदुस्तान दिखाया जाए जो सच में हमने बनाने की कोशिश की थी तो वो एक चीज़ है दूसरा है फिल्में दूसरा काम जो फिल्मों का है वो टाइम को डॉक्यूमेंट करना है और उसमें मैं मानता हूँ इस्लामोफोबिक फिल्में हों वो सरकार की प्रोपेगेंडा फिल्में हों वो जो एक साथ तीन चार आ गई थी हमारे प्रधानमंत्री पे मतलब वो लग रहा था कि उनकी उम्र के हर दौर पे फिल्म बन गई थी एक एक तो वो ज़रूरी हैं वो भी ज़रूरी हैं क्योंकि वो होंगी तो दे आर डॉक्यूमेंटिंग आर टाइम्स यू नो जस्ट लाइक द वॉट वी कॉल द गोदी मीडिया इज डॉक्यूमेंटिंग आर टाइम्स इफ an asteroid doesn't hit our planet and all the tapes completely you know go extinct aaj nahi 100 saal baad koi na koi zarur dekhega ki ye haal tha hindustan ka aur ye hua tha jab ye desh ka jo constitution khatam hone se pehle hum is halat mein the hum khade hue the ek choti ke kinare pe aur koodne ke liye taiyar the aur piche se log chilla rahe the koodo 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 aur ye log chilla rahe the zaruri hai मेरे ख्याल से उनमें आज उनकी वैल्यू उनको नहीं लग रही है या आज वो माचिस और तीली और है ना पेट्रोल लेकर खड़े हैं लेकिन वो माचिस और तीली को पता नहीं है कि वो माचिस और तीली खुद माचिस और तीली को भी डॉक्यूमेंट कर रही है वो बहुत जरूरी है Hmm. you know which has affected our lives and therefore have remained with us for a very long period of time but today because of this we have to understand what this is doing the, to mindsets what mobile phones whatsapp whatsapp university right. because uh, more than what films are doing because by the time like suppose you take up uh, an idea hmm. and you uh, you know bring it to fruition it takes such a long time that you have 10 different causes which have already happened by the mm-hmm. time your film is released by okay. the time a feature film will yeah. come out aapka ha to but by that time you've already been propagandized if i may say hmm. through whatsapp either way so uh, the impact of this which is a kind of uh, which um, is suitable to the short term memories that we have hmm. is much more ghatak i would say hmm. than the impact of a film also while because it comes in a very legit uh, group of trusted your people. trusted people and exactly. you feel that it's legit because it's in a group that exactly. i trust exactly and i by my own choice being part of it right. yeah and hence i feel it's legit so it could be low production it but it'll still have very potent <coughs> messaging yeah right but but sticking to the feature mm. film bit before we come back to short of mm. videos you know, i actually feel uh, I mean, I've grown up hearing this thing that cinema doesn't bring a change. I actually feel slightly on the contrary because I mean, my own cinema. <coughs> what I've seen, I've seen my mother uh, for about I think two decades. She's been uh, keeping the Santoshi Mata ka vrat for every Monday, and I never questioned why does she do it. And I realized that because she saw the movie, mm. and much later I saw the film. It was so regressive in its principles and stuff. and i realized my mother has picked up from there mm. and you know also the very typical thing of what we've seen in our films is that how we show that our mothers have been so sacrificial mm. that they will put out a roti to the son or the daughter but they will not eat and it created as a virtue mm. but it is actually denying your nutrition another example is again you know when when you see mentally challenged people yeah. there's automatically that reflects that oh my god i have to stay away 
you know if you go back to our erstwhile cinema or even the recent cinema every film when they show that a person or a hero is walking into a uh, institution mental institution people are behaving weirdly they're attacking them and they have to run away from there mm. so that subliminal thing has gone in that okay there's there's going to be like that so basis that i feel that you know it does bring in a certain kind of at least you start questioning or maybe you get answers to certain questions that you've been having mm. so i feel cinema does bring in some kind of questioning or a answer to the question let's talk about mulk do you feel mulk will make the average person doesn't have to be a very hardcore bigot but the average person reconsider how they treat muslims around them or how they think or perceive muslims around them i hope so uh yes uh people who were susceptible to a positive change would would go and think about it and reconsider their notions and also identify some uh stereotypes that they might be living with like a great example is encounter killings mm. and how bollywood has represented sure. vigilante violence as something heroic you think we got to this mob lynching place just like that it's not just that they they can help people challenge mm. uh, uh, and see and ask questions i think they also normalize so many things sometimes that's positive and which is why the the which is why it was so special that for the longest time bollywood had this very secularish uh, co- like constitutional values ko badhava dete hue yeah constitution yeah. loving films i mean a film like veer zara yeah it's amazing you made a whole film about india pakistan without one word of politics and yeah. a pakistani friend told me this she said bhai wo film kya kamal ki film hai yaar hame dekh ke acha lag raha hai hame dekh ke lag raha hai ki hamare bare mein bhi yahi ye kahani so i think that there was a lot of that kind of stuff which is amazingly positive i think a film like masan uh, does that so beautifully where you talk about caste without either making the upper caste people feel defensive and ki nahi hum nahi hai casteist you know like people have a lot of that kind of reaction yeah. but equally i think that now especially because you talked about historicals i want to say this i just and i am not say, i'm not accusing anyone i'm not saying they're doing it with an agenda but i'm really sorry but it seems to me that the kind of historicals that are coming out of bollywood in the last few years they are totally playing into the hindutva ideology and the hindutva writing and rewriting of history all right because they clearly haven't studied any of the villains that they are propagating i mean it's just bizarre you I show mean, a muslim ruler who can be wearing a piece of chicken like he's a demon You know, no, like just, not just that it goes so subtle that you look at the color palette or how it's yeah. how the production design is design is done it's mostly blacks it's mostly dimly lit it's it's shot in a low angle to sort of show you demonizing whereas you show the contrary it's all like flowery and perfect, bright lights and bright and lights and shot at an eye level it's just playing so so like i mean without even any mask so nakedly into this agenda i mean we're we're sitting at a time when the entire mogal period of this country has been kharij karofied as like a it's and all factually it's incorrect saffron washed it no it's all factually incorrect i mean yeah. i know i think the historians will die when they sit and watch these yeah. historical films that it's, are coming out i think it's really important that we take a moment and we're like do we realize what we're doing but you're definitely increasing no, also you know you know fence sitters will think that oh this is the right way yeah they they think that's the real it's even history. worse yeah because you know bigots that are Muslims bigots anyway are others in the country but fence sitters will think that okay they are showing matlab correct hai filmon mein dikhaya matlab sahi hota hai ha so yeah, because it, now it it's such that, a fine yeah. line you know biopic hai ki wo fictionalized hai ki wo nahi ha. hai and i just i i, I don't know I, i feel very strongly about this i also feel that it is a reflection of the time you know that ye ye baat chalegi ye malum hai ha It so is it's, that. It's that like commercially will be successful ah. because a, a, a lot of Bollywood is about commercial success. There was a time when secularism worked, so Bollywood used secularism yeah, yeah, yeah. and made money out of it. Hmm. Yeah, you know, right. so it's also a byproduct rather than something that they want to generate in hmm. the society. But the thing is that. But secularism <coughs> is a good thing to generate, na? Usse, मतलब ये आपको लगता है ना? some people feel that hamari forgotten history aur uh, hum persecuted to hum hero khud ko to dikhayenge ke nahi dikhayenge but do you feel that those who are making these are driven purely by commercial compulsions or do you feel that they are also somewhere signatories to the messaging that is being delivered is it just money or is it also that they want to further this hindutva project 
कांग्रेस के पास पैसा होता तो मतलब सीट कुछ हाँ मतलब पैसा होता बेचारों के पास तो मतलब वो राहुल गांधी जो धोती पहन के वो शिव मंदिर गया था वो किराए की धोती थी ऐसा मुझे व्हाट्सएप से पता चला अरे सो सो दैट जेएनयू की जो लड़कियां थी हु एक्चुअली स्टॉप द पुलिस फ्रॉम हिटिंग दैट गाय जामिया सॉरी सो दो गर्ल्स आई मीन आई सॉ दो ट्वीट सो मेनी ट्वीट अबाउट हाउ Congress has paid these two girls. Yeah. Course, to be part of that. दोनों दोनों. Yeah yeah. Apparently मेरे घर की हमारी Congress दे रही है. हाँ. दोनों बातें. एक तो Congress के पास पैसा होता. दूसरा अगर हमको पैसा चाहिए होता, तो हम उस party के पास नहीं जाते जिसके पास बहुत सारा पैसा है, जिसकी सरकार है, जिसकी पुलिस है, सब कुछ है. हम हम क्या मतलब हम इतने भी ठीक है हम कम अकल हैं. इतने कम अकल कि हमको दिख भी ना रहा हो कि जो पार्टी आप, आपका जो ये आया था इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड उसमें 95 परसेंट पैसा उसके पास आ रहा है फिर भी हम सोच रहे हैं अच्छा ये पांच परसेंट वाला जो है ना वो देगा हमको वो साला सही में वो अच्छा है माय फाइनल क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस एस्पेक्ट इज दिस दैट डू यू फील दैट देर गिवेन वॉट गोइंग अराउंड हैज मोटिवेटेड यू और एग्ड यू ऑन टू मेक कॉन्टेंट to counter these narratives of communal distrust communal disaffection you know there is a dichotomy that you actually also go through is that a uh, filmmaker versus an activist that conundrum is so strong i actually pursued an idea of farmer suicide for about 3 years i went around the country tried to make it through and i also sought varun's help but you know eventually i realized that i am force fitting something that i am deeply affected by into a narrative form which is not adding up and i realized i am a narrative filmmaker first so i said okay i am not doing it because it is becoming force fit it is becoming like okay aapka mudda hai isliye aapko film banani hai so your creative process the other way yeah right. i mean i would want to make a pure narrative film whereas the politics is a secondary layer is what uh, satyajit ray did and for me that is an example of how you know i would want to make no, all art is political actually you yeah. know because it yeah. depends on your beliefs and your beliefs a part of your beliefs are political so if you decide and if you're true to yourself and you're making a film and not just ki ye formula ye 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 people make films like that also ki ye chalegi but if you're deeply affected by something and you're writing it and you're making it into a film then it is political na it is what you stand for but i know you've written a poem it's an excellent poem hum kagaz nahi dikhayenge have you been sort of pushed towards writing more stuff or thinking of a story Given the current political context, नहीं नहीं एक तो ये है कि अगर मैं आज कहानी लिखना शुरू करूंगा तो फिल्म 2022-23 में आएगी ठीक है वो भी तब बेस्ट केस सिनारियो में ठीक है तो वो तब तक तो पता नहीं दुनिया कहाँ होगी देश कहाँ होगा हम कहाँ होंगे आपको जोक भी जिंदगी भर लिखता रहा हाँ वो तो है लेकिन ये बात है कि मेरा दोस्त संजय रजोरा वो कहता है कि इफ यू डोंट चूज योर पॉलिटिक्स योर पॉलिटिक्स विल चूज सो देर इज नथिंग लाइक नॉन पॉलिटिकल आर्टिस्ट ओके अगर आपने बोला कि मैंने मेरी कोई पॉलिटिक्स नहीं है भाई साहब दैट इज अ चॉइस एंड दैट इज अ चॉइस क्लियरली मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दैट अलाइन विद the majority that mm-hmm. aligns with the establishment status quo jo hai hai na jo aap bolte hain ki hum to humko kuch nahi pata is humko iske bare mein kuch mat poocho that is a choice you are making and so that way every work of art is political okay whether it is golmal mm-hmm. whether it is article 15 whether it is masan everything is political wo aapne soch ke political apni politics usme rakhi hai या आपने बोला है कि अच्छा मैं तो मतलब कुछ ऐसे ही बना रहा हूँ है ना ये तो दिवाली क्राउड के लिए है और वो आएंगे वंस यू आर क्लियर अबाउट व्हाट योर मॉरल कोड योर एथिकल कोड एंड 
which is basically the framework for your politics, then it will reflect in whatever you make. And also sometimes what happens is you uh, people misconstrue electoral politics with politics yeah. and they think yeah. nahi, nahi, politics mm. or nahi party, politics, <laughs> party is, politics party is politics is something that you know so that's also confusion party about. politics is ideology free at least yeah. you know we have an ideology <laughs> <laughs> the final aspect that we want to touch on is the problem of representation it's something that i want to come to you first neerat sir because a couple of months back you put out a call saying <coughs> dalit bahujan adivasi assistant writers and assistant directors mm. please respond on this email id or phone number whatever was given and you faced mm. a lot of backlash mm. saying neeraj ghewan is being casteist yeah. why is he only asking for dalit bahujan adivasi uh, assistant Actually, writers and directors people reported me to the police also mumbai police what? people reported yeah. me to How? police yeah they did because i have been casteist they actually that ta- they actually tagged mumbai police saying that you know look him it's bizarre and it's something that say for example even during article 15 the people mm-hmm. who are protesting it were protesting what you're protesting because your upper caste pride is being hurt that caste atrocities still happen what in the country what was anti brahmin film yeah how they they called an anti brahmin film similarly like how padmavat was an padmavat who i forget who got karni sena karni sena got pissed off on behalf of the community that was shown extremely but karni sena was the same one who actually uh, spoke against this film matlab jis community ko aap glorify kar rahe ho movie mein the whole movie they are the ones protesting it, that you're demonizing them that you're showing them yeah. badly that you're but that is india we are a 135 crore hurt hurt sentiments <laughs> that's what we are but bhavuk <laughs> hai <laughs> but coming to the point of representation coming to the point of representation apart from the jokes that of of course it's bizarre that people are calling you casteist for saying that there should be greater representation from mm. the oppressed castes mm. in the film industry not just in terms of characters in films mm. in the films that are made but also in terms of people who are working behind the scenes who are coming up with the stories who are directing those stories tell us how important that is see actually it started with just being the dba community doing that but i think my question and my um, pursuit has been larger in terms of representation it's not just about you know dba it also applies to lgbtq muslims women i mean these are the things i actually and force myself and follow through i i where do i come from i actually have seen growing growing up on cinema the uh, doordarshan cinema that i've seen and all these films that i've seen i have come to understand that for example if we look at dalit characters there is literally zero representation you look at all the films of all of history you would think of bandini you know uh, or you would think of uh, maybe masan but more so now article 15 but in between all of this you don't remember anybody hmm i am the only dalit filmmaker you can count in hindi film industry hmm. okay so what i mean to say is that i actually looked at black history and black cinema history and i thought they do something called as affirmative action hmm. Hmm. and they actually have that code of book which actually prescribes that you know that there should be things and when you know that uh, inclusion rider thing came on in the oscars yeah and i feel why should we have that sort of a thing here where it's not i mean in a lot of bollywood okay i hear that you know they say that you know hum to kabhi kaisa soche nahi yaar humne kabhi dekha hi nahi aisa hum sochte nahi ki caste aisa kuch hota hai so you being caste blind is not equal to you being like you know pro uh, you know non caste non caste is yeah. something and your caste blind it's a problem yeah just because you acknowledge it's a being, your your caste blind because of your privilege because yeah. no one made you feel your yeah. caste yeah. I I mean that's yeah. that's like and it's something that only yeah. the uh, the upper caste or the privileged caste get to say right that yeah. we got to the age of 20 without knowing what our caste was right oh. so you it's, effectively have like gaslit the public and also othered literally what 23% <laughs> of the population is saying that they don't exist and because they're not in films at all all your protagonists from time immemorial have been upper caste mm. so where is the narrative going to come from it's going to come from the people subaltern subaltern represent subaltern mm-hmm. that was my whole idea of how to start mm-hmm. with it but then the backlash i mean it was a bit much but then i could understand that this is going to happen it's also happening f- coming from people who don't have the awareness that you're trying to generate through films yeah yeah so yeah it's, it's a cyclical yeah, yeah. problem right i feel that yeah there should be that aggressive in your face um, you know a uh, proclaiming the space kind of thing but also there should be a point where it's also normalizes it 
you know for instance i was just watching this danish tv show in which uh, a female cop she is pursuing a case and her assistant she comes and says that you know i'm sorry i really have to go because my my girlfriend is not well so he says okay we we'll go on so now i found it very fascinating that in such a sni- nice manner you normalize it you know because when you, because indian audience is such that you know if we are film mein dikhana matlab sahi hoga so you're saying it, it's not just making issue based movies yeah. but also in the so called non issue based movies have greater normalization representation yeah because you know i think once that thing comes in representation will slowly start to creep in when in the making also we bring in representation mm. it's not just in the cinema because that's when it will come through when i actually talk about these things a lot of people laughed at me and said that yaar ye kya hai bollywood mein sab nahi karta hai koi nahi karta hai bollywood mein and i said that is the problem that bollywood mein koi nahi karta hai mm. so we should start i mean how else will it start a conversation people who are actually asking ki neeraj aisa kyu kar raha hai bhai tu alag se dba artists ka database kyu bana raha hai and i am saying kuch to aise troll karne ke liye puch rahe honge kuch jo genuinely sach mein jo puch rahe hain jo janna chahte hain ki bhai ye to acha aadmi tha hamari nazar mein ye aisa kyu kar raha hai तो मैं उनको कहूंगा बहुत सिंपल सा जवाब है मेरी तरफ से एक आप अंबेडकर साहब को पढ़ें एक ऐसे उनका एनिहिलेशन ऑफ कास्ट पढ़ लें ठीक है उसके बाद हम बात करेंगे अगर आपको उस ऐसे में कुछ सवाल हैं डाउट्स हैं आप ट्वीट करें हम लोग उस पर बात कर सकते हैं तो यू पुट इन दैट एफर्ट गुड आइडिया डेटा बेस आफ्टर योर फिल्म केम आउट वन ऑफ द क्रिटिसिजम फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट इफ आई मे से फ्रॉम दी अम्बेडकर could be defined as a savarna savior complex and also that particular dialogue uh, which was received uh, with laughter in the audience where ayushman says ko ye hai aap ye ho aap wo caste ho main kya hu right and there was some criticism about that do you feel that this is the type of thing that having greater diversity on set helps avoid or helps confront yes of course i mean even going by the population percentage so the obc sc st is close to 74 75% and that's not the constitutional set anyway mm-hmm. so that is wrong that needs to be achieved if not to 74% to at least 49% consciously achieved you know that's a trap mm-hmm. that's a trap because then you're looking at the surname first and then the name when you're hmm. hiring somebody hmm so i think what needs to happen and which is not only about the film industry which it is about enabling them they need to be brought to the fore we have oppressed them for thousands of years so my idea was you know the savarna gaze film and all my idea was it at least we're talking about it yeah. let's talk maybe i was wrong i haven't faced that oppression so there's only so much i can acquire right you know feeling it personally is i would never get it and uh, i think what he did was is perfectly right it it has to be done but uh, it's it's a trap like i said i don't know where to draw the line where it's not there is i mean there's an addition to that what i feel um, like for instance like if you look at article 15 when you're making it if you look back at how many people were dalits in the crew I mean that is something that you would have questioned yourself at that time later later so so here's the thing and I was asked this a lot in uh, response to the uh, re- recruitment ad so here's the thing I I would say that there are there are 100 people who are equally talented okay and there are 20 people the 80 people who are constantly getting the job all the time you have access you have everything 20 people equally talented is a qualifier do not have access do not have anything do not get uh, opportunities at all i am going to those 20% and saying that i'm going to find out from these people which could include dba which could include muslim which could include lgbtq i'm just saying i'm going to that set i am not saying i'm compromising on my work i will never do that of course yeah. that is what that's qualifier should be there and mm. you it's know it's a question should, of opportunity basically yeah. Yeah. i don't think i'm cast blind but i've been cast agnostic mm. I, it has never mattered to me I don't know speaking for myself I don't know if I'm upper caste or not but I have been I'm from a privileged caste class for sure caste to nahi char varnon mein hum nahi hai pata nahi kahan hai but humko treat kiya jata hai upper caste ki tarah kyunki hum pare likhe hote hain muni mote hain na yamraj ke munin ke vanshaj hain hum log sir main aapko example do ki aapne jis shiddat se article 15 banaya 
आपने जिस करेज से बनाया जितना अनबैशडली आपने बनाया ना मैं नहीं बना सकता इवन इफ आई एम फ्रॉम द बैकग्राउंड आई वोंट हैव दैट करेज दैट यू हैव आई मीन बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ आई मीन दैट टू ऑन अ सब्जेक्ट दैट आई एम सपोज टू लाइक समवेयर एट लीस्ट नो मोर और स्पीक अबाउट इट बट आई विल स्टिल नॉट हैव द करेज दैट यू हैव But why is that? Why do you say that? Because you know the persecution complex is so much yeah, yeah, yeah. that you, you internalize it so much that you feel that if I say it, oh maybe I'll get you know you know I'll get other or people say that okay, but that's not good. Tag lag jayega. Tag lag jayega. There's also that differential uh, allowances people have that 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 which Neeraj was also talking about. Say for example, uh, I don't know how many of y'all have seen Kala. Like yeah, I was film. just going to say that. Yeah. that so yeah. for example, in Kala, there's the dynamic of Ram and Ravan is flipped, and Ram is shown as the villainous character in this one scene, and Ravan is shown as the hero played by Rajinikanth, and the villain of the movie is portrayed as Ram. Now that is something that most people would be like. you cannot possibly have that go on and this will never get a censor certificate but it did is do you feel that say for example when it is a rajinikanth there is a greater degree of allowance that 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 somebody like a rajinikanth gets or that somebody no i think it's also the the fact that tamil nadu has had a very very yeah. strong sort of anti caste dravidian dravidian also, yeah. Uh, yeah i don't know what the technical terms are but yeah. the, a, a movement in terms of the opposite mm. so they I, i think that the power dynamics there are you know they're a little different mm. perhaps so it could also just be it could also just be that i i think that bollywood has been very caste blind but i think the in the language cinemas there has yeah, been yeah. a a far more sort of there's been more conversation about about caste when you're working on a project that to use the terms that we've been using today is non issue based like say for example sacred games mm -hmm. sacred game season 2 to be specific a lot of people saw the scene of the lynching as being incidental to the to the plot that was going on do you feel that there's a degree of self censorship that happens ki agar ye mudda nahi hai picture ka ya show ka isko kyu ghusaye that just let it be that one aspect of that whole series will end up overshadowing the entire conversation and possibly even get punitive action being taken bans coming about protests against the show do you feel that there's a degree of self censorship isko rehne dete to self censorship mere khayal se sabse डिफीटेस्ट आइडिया सबसे घटिया आइडिया है किसी भी आर्टिस्ट के लिए और इसका एग्जाम्पल मैं आपको देता हूँ कि जब गुरमेहर सिर्फ ये लेके खड़ी थी कि भाई पीस को चांस दो सिर्फ उसने कहा था शांति जरूरी है दुनिया में सिर्फ इतना ही लिखा था उसमें क्या सेंसरशिप हो सकती थी उसमें और कितनी हो सकती थी सेंसरशिप जब उसको गाली पड़ सकती है जब गुलजार साहब ने एक कोई छोटी सी बात बोल दी गुलजार साहब का बॉडी ऑफ वर्क देख लो उनका लेजेंडरी सॉरी मुझे याद नहीं ये दो दो तीन साल पहले की बात है जब उन्होंने कुछ बोल दिया था लिंचिंग या कुछ उसके कॉन्टेक्स में थोड़ा सा कुछ बोला था भाई साहब पूरे ट्विटर के राइट विंग ट्विटर पे गुलजार साहब की अच्छी अच्छी नज्में निकाल निकाल के उसका मजाक बनाया जा रहा था कि ये क्या लिखा है ये क्या है इस आदमी को शायरी नहीं आती है वो लिख रहा था पप्पू हार्डवेयर स्टोर का ओनर इंदौर का कि गुलजार को शायरी नहीं तो फिर क्या सेंसरशिप आप करोगे कहाँ कर सकते हो सो so, एक ही तरीका है आप भूल जाओ सेंसरशिप नाम की चीज सेंसरशिप करने के लिए वो अथॉरिटी हम क्यों करें माय एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ दिस हैज बीन दैट इट हैपेंस अ लॉट आई हैव बीन ऑन मोर देन वन सेट वेद एंटायर टाइम we they are saying nee nee let's not say this because percent some problem ho jayega i mean i'm saying this is an actor so i don't know about the creative uh, process of of writing the films and so on but as an actor i'm i'm saying to you that before we, we uh, so many and, I, and again i want to say more than one time they're not even waiting for the censor board to actually say something it's that it's like saying before you're being asked you're i'm not saying it you're bending over before you're being asked nobody has yet asked you and that is the problem that, that's what i'm trying to say that the, there is a palpable atmosphere like that and and it's it's not just something of the last 5 years because i just want to say that all our governments 
have had a very bad very bad history. very bad uh, attitude yeah. towards banning so it's not a pa- it's not just this is just something that's happened in the last 5 years the, i i feel that in general in india we should relook at how we we approach the issue of regulation and censorship in general and the and the whole banning and all this stuff but definitely in the last 5 years i'm i'm, I'm just saying as an actor because i have it, it's just i seem to we only seem to be discussing what can be said and what can't be said i mean i'm i'm in a situation where i've shot for something where i'm doing comedy and in that the jokes are being changed because you know the so there not, is a lot it's of it's not just films yeah ad world is even worse yeah. i mean there there they apne aap pe bolenge ki cbfc mein allow nahi hoga there it is the legal won't approve ha uh, so everything is not approvable like uh. i can't believe like i i made a commercial where i wanted to talk about a ips officer female ips officer story and they were like no let's not put ips ka badge let's not put anything i mean if you really subscribe to self censorship then you don't need to worry about it you are already exercising it <laughs> so i i don't worry about the censor board when i'm making something and the censor board seems to love me because both my films which were so controversial so to say were passed without any cuts you know by when i showed it to some of my director friends so the article 15 they came out of the film in my office editing room and they sat down and they said picture jo tune bahut achhi banayi hai anubhav ye theater tak kaise jayegi main na dekhte hai chali gayi so aisa apan believe karte hai agar aapko self censorship ka matlab malum hai to fir aap sab kuch hi censor kar doge fir to bahut benign se film banaoge to fir sir a final closing comment from you how much would you say you've lost as a result of your very outspoken uh, activism and has that deterred you why are you confirming that... my reputation as a nuisance <laughs> for why 374 crores <laughs> <laughs> no forget forget the give my, a 10% as compensation <laughs> if, if you They... could give us an estimate of like even the number of projects you've no say you've had and then not had or... i've never been dropped from a project by someone saying look you're not going to get this because you did this so nobody thrown me out of a project thankfully but um i've lost uh, i've lost uh, events like you know jahan ribbon kaatne wale right after the elections um you know where where i chose to campaign, campaign for the six people who will lose by the largest margins in their constituency uh so those i lost a few events and then of course brands There's are always there's a joke by the way that said that make sure if you're a left leaning candidate don't get swara bhaskar to campaign for you because then you'll definitely I think the opposition isn't Swarabhaskar. using me properly they should get me to campaign for the bjp and then we'll see the politics <laughs> in this country change but yeah like w- no there is definitely commercial you don't th- think you've lost there there is definitely been like a Uh, there's definitely been an asar and more than as i said more than more than nobody's going to say to me you are not going to the brands and all that yes of course three four things that were in conversations then suddenly dropped few people said that you know i'm sorry we're looking for someone who's not political and who doesn't have a political association so they some brands did say that and i respect that actually i don't have a problem with it um i've been told by concerned um directors and producers that you know you're getting the reputation of being a troublemaker you have a nuisance value um so and again i'm i come i it's fine i just is that going to stop you that um what is your problem i'm i'm just asking you the question no sir. it's a, i i'm not an idiot and i do understand that as a as an actor you have a responsibility towards your film and i i do not look for trouble uh or anything like that but i also always feel that you know we i am who i am so i there is only that much that i can change that i can try but eventually i'm sure that you know whatever i really the person i am will come out in whichever way in whichever field i am in so it's fine i mean it's you know and i don't i have no heroism about this people have gone through much worse in their lives this is not a big problem whether or not i come from a very touchwood secure background where i can i can face the adversity it's not something i want to think about because i don't want to generate that kind of panic psychosis right the statements that you've made uh that you, that you've been making on several socio political uh, issues uh, do you do you feel that that has in any way hampered your opportunities not that i know of they don't come and tell me ki we were considering you but you were so politically uh, 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 on the wrong side that you're not going to cast th- have you thought about that that possibly not really, i'm not really so it hasn't affected you no deterred I mean, you has, from no it hasn't deterred me i think it is very important to be what you are to believe in what you believe in matlab log aap jage hain 
यू नो दे थिंक दैट दो के बाद मैं ट्वीट करना शुरू कर दिया ऐसा नहीं है नो वो ट्वीट करना शुरू कर दिए हैं आफ्टर टू But we've been around questioning the government for a very long time. Yeah? There's this other Varun joke which says that 2014 से पहले भी we used to do satire, but it's just that after 2014 we've been start calling brave for <laughs> for doing it. Thank you so much, everyone. I know this has been a really long discussion, but it's also been one that has been enlightening, and I hope our viewers uh, you've enjoyed it as much as we did. Hopefully, enjoy the conversation uh, today. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on the Quint for this roundtable.